All right, tonight again is about DNA guide, guided wellness, made simple. And just before we go into this, folks, just want to mention uh, that if you have any questions, um, and obviously you will from this after this presentation, um, neither ourselves nor Michael will be able to handle your questions. And um, the best way, the best place to go to is screen now. We have the website called dnawebinar.com. NAWebinars.com, doesn't matter what okay. the, the phone number is 212-369-1992, and ask to answer your questions, okay? Oh, yeah. Okay, there's some, some static over there. All right. Um, <coughs> The way you live a healthy lifestyle, the way you, you act on all, all four of these things, the way you intelligently follow all these things is by really understanding, number one, how your body works. In other words, the regenerative power of the human body. And really, really, you, you cannot, and that's way up there, that's the first of our three main points that we focus on in our webinars. But really, to understand how your body works, you really have to understand how your cell works, because your cells hold the key to your health. Whatever happens at the cellular level actually most definitely affects your human body. So in order to really get a handle on, on health, you really have to understand what makes your health, your cells work, the toxins that, that damage your cells, what makes your cells not work. And really, I think we are really privileged to have someone of Michael's caliber to speak to us, to speak to that subject, especially when it, to the, the, the aspect of DNA guided wellness. So without, without much further ado, I was going to hand it over to Sherry to read, to tell us more about Michael, and Sherry will hand over to Michael afterwards. So I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I actually think this is the first we've actually done a webinar in the same physical location. It's kind of cool. <laughs> okay, I would love to introduce Michael. This is um, Michael um, Carbonelli. I hope I'm saying his last name correctly. And Michael is one of the founding presidential affiliates of GeneWise Life Science, a wholly owned subsidiary of its publicly traded parent company, GeneLink Biosciences. He is also one of the founding directors of the GeneWise Sports Division. Michael develops education, training, and affiliate components for nutrigenomic and dermogenomic solutions for the company's DNA guided wellness programs, and that's one of the main things he's going to be telling us about tonight. At the age of 16, Michael began his fitness and nutrition career while working for fitness legend Jack LaLanne, as David mentioned, and this helped uh, support his own athletic career from collegiate through professional baseball, along with staying connected um, with the Jack LaLanne organization. In early 2000, Michael's fitness program drew the attention of The Zone's best-selling author and well-known nutrition guru, Dr. Barry Sears. So both Michael and Dr. Sears truly believe that without placing the proper guided and balanced nutrition plan in front of exercise, a person would never reach their ultimate goals. Michael is a graduate of Queens College. He holds a Bachelor of Science in Physical Education, and he currently resides in Fort Lauderdale, Florida. Uh, Michael, are you there? Yes, I am, and thank you so much uh, for the introduction. Yeah, you're very welcome. Really looking forward to this tonight. Well, well I want to welcome everyone to this call, and, and it's so exciting for me to have the opportunity to do a presentation of this caliber, uh, having the pleasure of meeting the doctor and, and spending some time with Sherry. The passion that they have for information is by far second to none, and what is so important is technology today, which we're going to talk about, really is setting apart that stigma that we have to reach in and look for so much information and we have to you know, bury ourselves in science before the solutions avail themselves. You see, the information and the knowledge is right at our fingertips. Uh, obviously, we call it the Internet. And the opportunity to bring so many people from throughout the country uh, to this phone call tonight really excites, uh, excites me as a presenter. And I'm sure when we're finished tonight, you're going to have a solution a solution that will change the way you look at wellness. And we're going to start off by saying DNA guided wellness made simple. Uh, what, I, what I really enjoyed is when the doctor said, 
it's simple. It's for us, the lay people, the opportunity that we can look at something and understand it so, so simply and really have something of an application. Now tonight, what I'm going to show you is a company, a science-driven company that is now taking wellness to a level that is far beyond anyone has ever seen and or comprehended because it is going to be called DNA Guided Wellness 100%, I'm going to say this again, 100% personalized. Now this personalization did not come easy. Now a little background on the, the direction, the scientists behind this, the science behind the information I'm speaking of tonight comes from a company by the name of Gene Link, Gene Link Biosciences. And to know more about it, it's genelinkbio.com. And a 14-year-old company that has a group of doctors, molecular biologists, biochemists, and, and many, many doctors in and around the field of medical uh, testing. And two of our doctors had the opportunity to work with the Human Genome Project. Now, this is pretty powerful. I have the pleasure of spending time uh, with these doctors and, and really having a glimpse or a vision into the future of how wellness nutrition, which we'll be discussing this evening, science from medical testing through all the various different pharmacogenomic uh, directions as well. So this is going to change everything. DNA is the basis, and DNA is the basis of our health future. Now, what DNA is, is our foundation. Now, I always like to use this as a metaphor. You know, think of our home as our foundation. It doesn't, it doesn't make a difference in reference to how well we take care of our rooms in our home, which is more of our lifestyle. So I like to really take a few moments and discuss this. DNA is truly the foundation. It is the structure of your home. By basing everything on the structure, you will truly have a home that will last through the test of time. And if you use that metaphor to your health, your health must, the basis of your health must be strong, or in our case tonight, the basis of your wellness plan must be strong. So understanding that DNA is your foundation, you also understand that this home will stand strong. Now, I happen to live in Fort Lauderdale, Florida, a place that tends to have hurricanes. And I always think of my home, and I built my home with a strong foundation. And I know with my hurricane windows, and I know all the things are important, that no matter what, my home will have a good chance against any hurricane. And it's the perfect metaphor because in our lives, uh, from all the various different challenges, environmental and, and, and the such, we know that if our foundation wellness-wise is strong, we know that we can, we can handle a lot of what comes at us. Now also, it, prevention is important. DNA is prevention. Obviously, that you've heard it over and over again, Prevention is why we really study wellness. Why we're on the call tonight is to identify the best way to prevent what's coming at us, as I like to call it, the onslaught. And DNA never changes. You know, the greatest friend to have in life is, is the friend that's consistent, the person or persons that you can always count on. You see, your DNA, your biochemistry, from a scientific standpoint, can be counted on. It never changes. It is the basis. So this, these three examples are the perfect examples. When I was first open to a DNA-guided wellness direction, I really wanted to know why take it from a DNA point of view and not come from the met metabolic point of view and, and various different ways in which you can approach wellness. And, you know, and I'd like to share something with you and a, and a great example because in, in DNA-guided wellness, people ask very important questions. And these, there may be questions tonight, but I hope I can address them beforehand. Metabolic is more of a reaction. So where DNA is, your, is, is part of prevention, metabolic is part of reaction. And that's pretty much, from a nutrition standpoint, the metabolism plays a big role, how it processes. And then if you look at foundation, metabolic is functional, where DNA is foundational. And when I said DNA never changes, metabolic function changes. And it, it, has, it has a portion of it that changes almost daily. Now, what we say here in DNA is fix the foundation, and then once the foundation and the basis is fixed, then you can test the other functions. That's why all areas of science and medicine are focusing on DNA first. So remember, it's DNA first, all else follows. Very important. I believe I just lost my screen. Oh, there we go. <laughs> it's a little slow. 
DNA wellness made personal through nutrigenomics. Now, obviously, the personalization aspect of these amazing webinars and having doctors and, and foremost authorities on various different wellness subjects really takes the thoughts and the, and the feelings that you have when you come to these webinars and clarifies it with information and then really helps you identify. Well, nutrigenomics is the personal, is the personal approach to your genomics, the relationship between your years in the fitness and wellness industry. I would say to people, I know you want to exercise. I know you want to transform your muscles. I know you want to reduce body fat. I know you want to change the way your body acts and reacts. But what is your relationship with your nutrition? How do you rate your nutrition in reference to 1 to 10? Most people would say 1, 2, or 3. And I knew that if I didn't make that change, there was no way I could affect the changes they wanted to make in their body. But it Michael? Just become, yes. Um, we've had a couple of people typing in that they're having a little bit of trouble hearing you. So they say you're clear, but it needs to be a little bit louder. So if there's any way you can turn the volume up on what you're talking in. How, or about, how about this? Is this better? Yeah, that's better. Yeah, that's great. Okay. Better. Great, okay. Yeah. Not only am I wearing this headset, I'm, I'm truly wearing it now. <laughs> I actually, it's actually, is it much clearer now? That's much better. And I don't know if, how much it matters, but the, we're seeing actually your whole screen, um, not, we're seeing all your Google stuff, search bar and things at the top. So. But did not clear the screen? Yes, yeah, so I don't know how easy it would be to switch it back to a normal kind of slideshow view. But we're seeing it fine, but we're also seeing everything else. See. I, I am in slideshow, so... Yeah, don't, don't worry about it. We, we, yeah, we, we'll, we'll just, it. It's fine. Just leave it. Yeah, we'll just go with it. I could see if there's a way where I could... Am I clear volume-wise? We're good. Okay, here we go. DNA wellness made personal through the nutrigenomics. Now, relationship between your nutrition and your genes is very important. Like I explained a moment ago, being a trainer and a coach, I spent most of my career teaching people the importance of changing their nutrition first. Uh, many, many years of spending my time with Jack Lane in my early fitness careers, as well as the time I spent with Dr. Barry Sears in the Zone Diet, we realized that the application in to nutrition first, the commitment to nutrition first was important, and you are what you eat. And this ends up in your biochemistry or applies itself to your genes, how it works and its effect on your health. Now, the changes of your health really have a lot to do with the effect of nutrition on the genome. Now, nutrition is truly the provision to the cells and organisms or, or, and the materials being food that are necessary to support life. Now, everything we eat breaks down. The human body does not know that you decided to go to a fast food restaurant. It does not know that you decided to eat something that wasn't exactly on the food chain, joking aside. But your body will break, that, break it down biochemically. And this is where this all begins. Your genome has all to do in every way, shape, and form on how your body processes nutrition. And there's absolutely, positively, no way around it. You cannot fool the genome. But to understand that, really understand the DNA directive. And the DNA directive really starts off with the genome. Now, this is a complete genetic sequence on one person's, you know, set of one chromosome of, of your genetic predisposition or your DNA. Michael, okay, I hate you know? the microphone moved away from your mouth or what? <laughs> <laughs> I know it. Maybe there, it's coming you really want to hear you. That, that, is that hey, better? That's better. <laughs> hey, hey, Michael, she pulled the shorts. Who did break the news, but she pulled the switch on straw. <laughs> Quite right. The, you know, the main concern is I didn't go on the voice interviews <laughs> last night. <Well>, free. <laughs> and now what's happening is I'm using a microphone on, the, on a phone, and guess what? I'm not getting through. Well, to discuss the application or understanding the DNA directive, you have to, you have to understand the four areas, genome, epigenome, proteome, and metabolome. Now, it sounds pretty interesting, but each and every aspect of our DNA our direction has to be processed through this directive. And to understand this directive is to truly understand this definition of genome. And more, more precisely, and this is where I have to get a little technical, and this is the part that I try to avoid if I can, but it may be a little tough to do that, but so bear with us. The term genome can really be applied specifically to mean stored on a complete set of nuclear DNA. But it can also mean that, it, that you know, it's stored within Organelles that contain their own DNA, as with the mitochondrial genome or chloroplast of the genome. Now, getting very, very technical, 
this direction is really elemental for the expression of the biochemistry. Now, on the epigenome side, okay, again, this is how it all pra processes out. It's also known as epigenetics. Now, this refers, this refers to the expression or the appearance. Now, this is caused by the mechanisms and the changes in the underlying DNA sequence. Now, when we look at the proteome, okay, this is an expression. This is an overall expression of the protein in your genome. Now, this is, this is the entire complement of protein. Now, this is in the cells, the tissues, and all the different organisms. More specifically, the set, you know, this is a set expressed protein given a defined condition. Now, this term, proteome, okay, is applied in seven different types of your biological system. So, this is more of what we call the cellular portion of your DNA. And then the metabolome, which is, which is the, obviously the effect of the molecule, the metabolites that are found within each of these biological samples in, obviously, us, the single organism. So there is a scientific directive within the DNA structure that literally takes these biochemical reactions that processes the nutrients that we apply to our body. Now, not to get into all the science, and just to give you a few definitions, this was the part that really sort of validated it for me. I know now that I am 100 percent, 100 percent of what I eat. And that expression truly comes from my genetics. And this, to define, is why most people can look at something and gain weight, and other people can eat it and not gain weight. There is reasons why your body type and shape is such. Again, it is the DNA directive. And there's absolutely, positively, biochemically, no way of changing it. However, that being said, we can now progress and come up with solutions. Now, I wanted to step out of the science for a moment and support the science with what's going on in the media. And before I move forward, everyone, am I coming across loud enough and clear enough? Not quite. Still not quite. That, that, that still, lo still losing me. OK. How about now? No, that's better. That's better, yeah. OK. The DNA analysis can truly identify potential health problems. This has been recently presented on CNN. Matter of fact, CNN has talked about nutrigenomics four separate times in 2008. The future of your health is in MSNBC reports. Business 2.0 said DNA swabbing and testing is currently a $5 billion industry. Now, Sherry and Doctor, how many people have you spoken with in all the years that you've been around science that have told you they've had DNA assessments done and testing done? In your um, experience. I, I've only spoken to two or three people. How about you, two Sarah? Three yeah, people. I, I don't even think most people even know it exists. Okay. Could you believe it's a $5 billion industry? That's a shock to me, too. I mean, I no idea. Yeah. I, I know personally, I, I'm personally working on making it a billion-dollar industry myself, but all joking aside, I did not, I could not fathom that there are that many people doing genomic uh, testing. The industry is actually growing in leaps and bounds throughout the world. Believe it or not, the growth is in Europe and Asia. I, right. I just couldn't believe it as I've done more and more studies. But in the issues in, in December and in November in Time Magazine, they have reported, and especially the November issue, the genetic revolution. And when I looked at Time Magazine's December report, it stated that the home-based DNA assessment was the product of the year of 2008. Really? The product of the year in 2008 in Time Magazine, which by far has prognosticated the greatest products ever delivered to mankind, has na had named the home-based DNA assessment, which we're talking about today. The home-based DNA assessment was the product of the year in 2008. Would you believe that? Oh, my goodness. And you said as a doctor and as a professional, Sherry, you've only heard of a few people talk about it. I cannot believe the timing and the position we are all currently in to see a complete paradigm shift right in front of our eyes. Not to mention even Fox News has had reports. Even Cal Berkeley did, a, did a, a breakthrough on the application of nutrition to genomics. And remind me, I can get you all that information and all of those uh, independent videos and studies that have gone on. Amazing. Just absolutely positively amazing what's going on now. Now, Michael, do, do, um, do insurance companies, uh, are they aware of this, of this? Are they cover this at all? Well, insurance companies are not covering it, and I do want to make something very clear. The information that I'm providing tonight is literally an informative tool. 
This is not a medical tool. It's very, very important to understand this. Information uh, that, you're deliver that is delivering in reference to nutrigenomics is different than the information you're seeing on the pharmagenomics side. Now, insurance companies haven't touched this yet. Matter of fact, only in some medical testing, when it's packaged in with various different uh, surgical procedures and very, various different testing, uh, I guess, application of, of various different uh, modalities. It's being packaged in insurance, but it had, in our industry, on the nutrition side and the wellness side, unfortunately, like many other things on the wellness side, we are truly on our own. And uh, that, I don't believe, is going to be changing anytime soon. Mm. And there's, there's reasons for that that uh, I, I am not qualified to go into, but I'll just say that we have an amazing thing. Now, I want to also make something clear. In the state of New York, DNA testing can only be applied by a medical professional. Oh. Okay? It has nothing to do with our company that, that has our breakthrough or any other company. Right now, it can only be applied and, and given uh, by a medical professional. Every, every state in the United States is open for a consumer to gain a home-based assessment, but in New York, it can only be given by a doctor, by a medical professional. And that is currently being challenged right now as we speak by many, many, many different companies uh, throughout, the, uh, throughout the world. And uh, so that's just all information. Matter of fact, California is now just in the process of approving companies. Our company, GeneLink, was approved in the state of California just recently. Matter of fact, just at the end of January of 2009. So California just came aboard. So this just gives you an idea of timing and how new this really is. Now, people, and I'm sure everyone on the phone tonight, would like to read more about how to gain this information to provide all the information you need to feel comfortable about any decisions you make to do your nutrition direction through DNA or through genetics. Now, again, books like Feed Your Genes Right, Ending Aging, Genotype Diet, I mean, some of these quotes, I mean, offset age-related genetic damage with certain nutritional supplements. An amazing book in Feed Your Genes Right. It truly shows you the application of nutrition to your personal genome. Food and nutrients can improve the expression of your genes. It goes back to my comment a moment ago, and I'm sure you share this, doctor, and I'm sure you share this, Sherry, that we are what we eat. Our body is exactly what we put into it. And in the book Genotype Diet, the nutrition plays that critical role in how these genes are expressed. So it's actually very simplistic. If you eat a natural organic or if you apply natural organic nutrients to your genome, you will gain the best. But what if it could be done even in the nutrient specifics to the exact determination of all of your genetic needs? Very important question. And tonight we're going to be able to give you an answer. But first, we're going to use this as an example. Genetic expression. The right nutrients in the right amounts will take a caterpillar and turn, them into a, turn that caterpillar into a butterfly. This is by far, in the insect world, the most complicated process. But all joking aside, there's so, so many people have told me over the years that I feel like a slug. I feel like a caterpillar. I just can't get my body going. And as I've watched people evolve in my 27 years of fitness and wellness, I use this as the prime example of when a person would walk into a wellness center or a fitness center, it would almost be like they were the caterpillar. And when they were done, they were the butterfly. But remember, in the past, we were guessing on the nutrition side. Now we have tools, which we're showing tonight, that that does not have to be any longer. Stop guessing. Start assessing. Right. See, right, this right. is very important because one of the challenges that we're seeing is that when we choose directions in our finances, we choose to assess and to study and understand and try to create something specific. When we choose directions in so many areas of our life, we spend more time and effort. But you probably know this, that most people get their information on nutrition, not from professionals like ourselves, but from predominantly just guessing, hoping and planning based on what they read, what's in front of them, what they're dealing with for the moment. They're not assessing. They're not diagnostically creating a directive for themselves. Now they can. 
and I'm going to show you this demonstration. It's simple. And I'm sure you would agree, doctor, that non-invasive non-invasive tests are the most popular assessments that most people would enjoy to utilize. I mean, blood testing and, and, and various different other types of testing isn't exactly the most popular modality. No, not at all. Yeah, the easier, the, the more popular, correct. Well, we're finding why now that this has become the product of the year in 2008, and I'm going to explain why this is. The well care industry is now being born to, through the DNA finds the DNA direction, this new directive of, of DNA first is now changing well care. We're really on the, really at the birth of the horizon and you know we really can see the horizon now of where well care will go. You see people in the past would have to go to a doctor when they were sick, when they were not well. And again, right. this is not a medically based program, but now they can identify who they are before anything happens and really start to treat their predisposition, their basis, by simply swabbing their cheek. And then our lab, which by the way is a clear certified lab, okay, it fits all, it's also FDA reviewed lab and a genome lab, so it also has all the, all the GMP uh, certifications and, and those practices are very, very important because the good manufacturing practices on our product side, very, very important. It's an anonymous and safe test, and let me explain what I mean. After you take the swab, which is on the mucosa membrane of your inner, inner cheek, you place it on the drying stand, which is your juice swabs. It takes roughly about 10 minutes. They dry. You place it in an envelope. You then take that envelope, drop it in the mail, and within 10 to 17 days, roughly about two weeks, an assessment is sent back to you via electronic or mail, or both, of course. The analysis is, is, is anonymous because once it goes to the lab, this is a very, very important question that people ask me all the time. What happens to my DNA? Do you bank DNA? Do you hold on to it? Do you destroy it? We do not bank the DNA. We are not a DNA bank. I'm not sure if you know this or not, but DNA banking is a federally monitored um, directive from the federal government. You have to have certain specifications, millions upon millions of dollars invested just to bank a person's DNA. There are laws in place. So we disintegrate that DNA. It's never to be seen again. We only maintain the results. And then we create a product 100% to customize for your predisposition. We're going to get into that in a moment, but very important. But I also want to share something that's, that's also important. Right now, and the people are taking notes on the call tonight, there's a law that was put in place by the Bush administration before he left office called the GINA Act, G-I-N-A, and it's, it's called the Genetic Information Non-Disclosure Disclosure Act. Again, Genetic Information Non-Disclosure Act. That means that no person can be discriminated against based on their DNA predisposition. Matter of fact, positive things are spinning from these DNA assessments. Insurance companies are looking at giving people discounts for better DNA asset, for better DNA predispositions. Also, people are truly able to identify their, their needs from a health standpoint. More and more doctors are accepting it. There's over 300 doctors uh, that are working with, with me uh, within, within my group that are literally now utilizing this product as a way of introducing well care. You know, for many, many years, a lot of MDs didn't want to get into products or well care models, they were just more so treating the need of their patient. Now that's changing because the DNA swab fits the protocol of most MDs. So do not be surprised that MDs are going to be doing things just like the DOs. They're going to be working on more of a wellness direction and GeneWise and our lab and our company is literally changing that and that was the reason why we decided to come to the public. There's actually, we're creating a demand for this. So you can see how exciting the, excited this is getting when doctors are calling us up saying, we've had some patients come in, how come we didn't know about this? I said, well, America is taking their initiative to take care of their own health. Now, you can imagine how hard we work to get the information out, so this is pretty exciting. Oh, yeah. And I understand also some sports superstars are also getting, getting on board, too, huh? Oh, uh, well, yeah, you know, it, it's something that, uh, you know, just to sort of answer that question, um, we have some of the who's who in athletics, and that's going to be coming out soon, but I had the most interesting conversation with uh, an amazing athlete, uh, you may have heard of him, uh, uh, Mr. Edwin Moses, uh, an Olympian uh, that was just one of the greatest track and field Olympians in the history of American track, and, and he looked at our product, and he, he gained his assessment, and he made a comment that when he was studying 
his art of, of being a sprinter, and also he, he did uh, high hurdles. And he said that he used a scientific approach to how he placed his body over that hurdle and how he can keep the speed going and keep his legs in a certain position. And he said to me, I did everything I could naturally with my product, but if I knew how to treat my disposition, I could only imagine how much more I could have gotten out of my abilities. And more and more Olympians are now coming onto our product, and, and athletes, but most importantly, each and every single one of us have to be able to understand what our disposition is. So the athletes are seeing it. Uh, not to mention, not to mention, everyone is really seeing the need of this being a potential um, expansion on on an exercise model or expansion on an athlete's capacity to get the most out of their body, an Olympian or a professional athlete. Which soon you'll be hearing more and more of that. Uh, matter of fact, uh, we have uh, we have testimonials coming, which I'll at some point provide for you, so people can actually hear these testimonials from from pro athletes. And and most importantly, we're changing the well care model in America and uh, Canada and eventually the world. We're actually a North American company. We have uh, the U.S. and Canada currently. Uh, another thing we need to talk about is the laws that are in play throughout the world are not ready for the DNA direction. Uh, we cannot go to other countries right now because, believe it or not, a lot of countries um, do not know how to handle this DNA direction. And really, from a laboratory standpoint, that is really the basis for this whole business. And yet, many countries are not actually prepared for DNA testing based on your nutrition. It, we just had a Reg, Reg from Australia type in, and he was asking if this was available in Australia. So apparently, that is not. It is well, not tell, well, tell Reg, and Reg, if you, you hear me clear, Australia, believe it or not, has had some of the greatest breakthroughs on the fitness and wellness side. Two big companies, two testing companies that actually come from Australia that are actually doing business in the United States. Uh, and they, they work in the fitness uh, arena because there are other assessments out there. There are 19 panel assessments to identify your fitness disposition. There are 23 panel assessments that identify your nutrition disposition, not the application to your wellness, which we're discussing tonight. So it's pretty amazing how each and every part of our world is coming up with some amazing breakthroughs. It's just that the United States of America has always been very progressive on how they deliver it to the public. When something happens and it's big, we bring it out and we, we really monetize it. Really what helps get it out very quickly, as you can understand that, Doctor. Right. And, that's, and that's what makes it so exciting, and our model is very dynamic. But uh, the answer to that question is we are working at one step at a time, but we are in Canada, and we have a lot of Australians that have purchased product through, through their Canadian friends and relatives. Uh, and we have actually people in the United States who actually have relatives in other countries that have actually had people just um, actually take their DNA assessment um, kits, send it to their relatives in Australia, and then they assess and they just send it back. So they're just adding an additional wrinkle, and then they get their, they get their, they get their results, and then they just electronically send it to them anywhere in the world. So it can be accomplished. It's just that right now we're not setting up shop in other countries. But, if that but make so sense. particularly it survives the trip. Uh, the Actually, believe it or not, have you ever heard of the story of King Tut? Yeah, the uh, Egyptian guy? The Egyptian guy. <laughs> the boy king. Do you know that they recently, not even but three years ago, assessed his DNA to identify how he left us? Oh, really? All they need is the slightest bit of what's left over. Now, how many thousands of years ago was that? Three thousand, though. <laughs> Somewhere around there, so I don't worry about the TEDx. I guess. What? What's that? I said if it can survive, if that can be tested. I guess uh, the DNA sample can survive FedEx. Well, you know, I, we don't know. No, actually, I'm kidding aside. Yes, I'm sure it can. Matter of fact, placing it in the envelope they provide is having no problem in its survival uh, throughout the United States and Canada, and I don't see any problem. But you're right, having it in a FedEx envelope, and all you really need to do is put it in a plastic bag, and it'll survive anywhere. So, we're, like I said, we're, we're, that's not a problem. The slightest, slightest bit of DNA, um, and even in, during after 9-11, they were able to find the small, small, smallest piece of DNA to identify, um, you know, basically from a CSI standpoint, that's how they were able to identify a lot of people. So it really has the same, you know, basis, not the same application, of course, but the basis DNA will survive. Uh, it's, a pretty, it's a pretty stout, the biochemistry aspect is pretty stout. Right. 
hopefully that answers that question. Okay, sure, now let's talk about this personalized assessment. Now, what is the product? The personalized assessment is the product. This is what we have. This is the claim to fame. This is the science and the breakthrough. Now, the personalized assessment, if you look at the screen, uh, this is an example of the assessment you'll receive. Now, this is what we call a healthy aging assessment. Now, this assessment is a measure of 12 key genes. Now, these key genes are very important in how your body's overall health plays out. Now, specifically, it's your genetic propensity in areas like oxidative stress, environmental challenges, cardiovascular health, detoxification, immune health, health neurological health, pulmonary, eye vision, and bone health. Now, these are pretty much the wellness outline of your whole genome. Now, our company, GeneLink Biosciences, has patents and patents pending on solutions, not to mention how they created this assessment. This is a patented assessment from our company. But to understand this, you have to understand you know, the variations. And these are called single nucleotide polymorphisms, or to keep it short, SNPs. And now is where I get snippy with everybody. So bear with me. <laughs> I enjoy getting snippy. Well, these 12 key genes really define your personal profile. Now, there's inherited strengths and inherited weaknesses. I'm sure you would agree that in everything we, we have, everything is inherited. Right. And we have some of us have, we have strengths and we all have weaknesses. And what this does is identify those areas and we break it down very simply for a person to understand. But again, going back to it, small variations in the DNA predisposition are called single nucleotide polymorphisms or pronounced SNPs. Now this accounts for all the human genetic differences and we are, we are basically 0.1%. And I do have to apologize, there's a little mistake on this slide and I'll get back to my assistant. We are 99.9% .9 identical. It's 0.1% difference. Would you believe that you and me and Cherry and every single person on this call is 0.1% that separates each and every one of us? Uh, aren't we like 1.4% different from the chimpanzees? <laughs> the, you know, it, it, it's interesting, but the, the, difference, the difference between the two chimps are as close to us as any uh, other creature on the face of this earth. Oh, really? it's, about a point, it's, it's about it's it's truly when they when they break down the, the disposition. Now, what is so important, and I say this to everybody, is that this variation, these little variations, these biochemical differences, if they're treated properly, we can prove to science can prove the changes. But we can see the changes. We can identify the changes in our in our wellness spectrum in a matter of weeks, and in some instances, which has been reported, days by identifying the disposition. Now, I want everyone to know that we talked a moment ago about lifestyle and environment and metabolic, so there are other variables. But the predisposition is described in a way that, you know, when it was described to me by a doctor and I asked them to break it down and keep it simple, and before I get into the genes that are analyzed, I want to talk specifically about how the doctor explained it to me. The doctor said, take a original and place it on a copy machine and make a copy of that original. More than likely, that copy will be very clear. It'll almost look like the original. Take the copy now, place it back on the screen, and copy the copy. Now, Sherry, doctor, you've seen copies of copies. What happens to them if you continue to copy the copy? It continues to fade and, bl and get blurry. Gets blurry. Well, that's exactly how your genetics, your DNA processes. That's exactly how that works. It's constantly, it's constantly replicating. And all you have to do is have one bad copy in the areas of oxidative stress, environmental, cardio, detox, immune. These are just the outline areas, but just one area that continues to copy on a, on a bad copy, and it leads to disease. But what if your body was in a great predisposition, your predisposition was treated properly, and it was constantly copying the original? you would basically be going towards wellness. And that would basically describe the DNA directive. Now, to get technical, each and every one of these SNPs, which are identified in that assessment, is where we are getting technical. This is where we're taking each gene from the VDR, bone health, EPHX, detoxification, and all these different areas. They identify in the 12 key genes specific functions. 
and when we were showing you the chart a moment ago, and I'm going to I'm going to just back up the back up the uh, the uh, the chart. The chart that described the gene that was analyzed, which is this gene, and then let's discuss the general description of this gene. And we'll use the first gene, the VDR bone health uh, directive, or the vitamin D receptor is what VDR stands for. And this this is an area that influences bone health. Okay, and also it, it, it accounts for 75% of the influence genetically on all of a human being's bone density, this one specific SNP. So as you can know, doctor, bone density could lead in, in you know, areas and concerns with osteoporosis. And obviously your predisposition, if you were able to identify a gene that works in that arena and you were able to place the right nutrients in the right amount, specifically for your DNA, more than likely you would be targeting the need for that gene to replicate itself towards a healthy state. And mm -hmm. this is really the best way of describing it. Is that coming across very clear to you? Yes, it is. What we're trying to, what here, what we're trying to do here by identifying the genes and their functions and applying an application to those functions. But also these genes have some other variables. Like for this one, for example, it also identifies uh, in young people, the same gene identifies uh, the, uh, the uh, parathyroid hormone production, also the cell division and blood sugar regulation. So a young person, as their body's progressing, usually through their adolescence and teens and even into their young adulthood, this same gene identifies that area. So where this gets very complex is that as the science is progressing, as we're moving forward, as more and more studies come back, as more and more um, uh, assessments come back from the application of nutrition, they will actually get to see in a, in a year, two years, three years, they will actually get to see how well this application truly plays out. But now they're learning more and more that each and every one of these genes may have as much as two, three, four different functions. So that's where the science is going to have to have some more time. But it's just to know the basis, to have the whole genome mapped out, and to be able to come up with something that comes from the human genome to apply it to our nutrition. This is a cornerstone, a cornerstone to a person's health. But you see, before I get into this, one, one size does not fit all. And this is a new era of personalization. You see, what our company is doing, which makes it so exciting, is that we're applying the nutrients to those specific SNPs. So for example, if a person's uh, uh, results come back and, and it says their body is an optimum genetic function, well then, the application of that nutrition does not have to be in any way more than the basics, or in most instances, there's no need in that gene, gene to put any extra nutrition. The body and the, is functioning right in that area. The gene is functioning right. Now, if it comes back that one of your parents passed on a disadvantaged gene, then the, then the application would be added support. So they would put some more support in areas such as the genes we just described. But if it's maximum, if it's both mom and dad, well, that's where you'll get maximum support. You see, if you look at most quality nutri nutraceuticals and nutritionals. The best approach has been the multivitamin on the most part. I'm sure you would agree that the breakthrough of a, of a quality multivitamin has made a big difference on nutrition application, especially in supplementation. So what happens is you're putting, you may be putting too much or you may be putting too little. Right. And, that's, and, and when it comes to the DNA predisposition, we do not know unless we have a DNA assessment. So again, this is predisposition. It's not metabolic. It's not lifestyle. So this is just one big part, one component of. And they're coming up with numbers now to say that the predisposition or your DNA is anywhere from 25 to 50 percent of your body's nutritional need. That's a pretty high number. But I'm going with 25 percent. I'm not going with the 50 percent because the science has not been around long enough to truly tell us if that's the case, but but that number is actually pretty high. I'm sure but you would agree. Get, where can we get that information to confirm, Michael? I, I, well, not, not that we, we, we doubt you, but uh, just to read more about that. Well, the, the best part about the best part about this science I'm presenting is I will be able to give you a series of references that literally will 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 encompass a very, very large download to answer this. And that'll go through our gene link, Biosciences, uh, which, is our, which is our parent company, the research division. Not to mention, I'll provide you with various other re re references that come from 
the product side as we apply the product to the DNA predisposition. So we have pages and pages and pages of the reference material that's utilized to bring out all this information. Right. And I will provide, and I will make sure to provide that so everyone on the call would be able to download, especially the medical professionals that are on the call. Right, well, appreciate that. That's right. This, none, none of this has been uh, presented in any way but from the science of gene link biosciences. But let's talk about the end result. We have created a system called LifeMap. I'm sure you'd agree that's a great name for this. Oh, yeah. Your body is a genomic map, not the exterior, the interior, the biochemical portion. And your life is so very important. And the application of this nutrition and the science that defines this direction is really going to change the way you live your health future, your health life. Now, this is designed for your genetic code. Now, this is the part that's very, very important. It is proven clinical third-party science. Okay, this is not created based on a product that our company has come up with. Now, if you've noticed, I haven't spoke of any specific product that is doing any specific, well, say, creating any specific results. Have you picked up on that so far? Yeah. There's absolutely no product presentation going on here. Okay. We only utilize the nutrients and the science that is available to us and our scientists from some of the greatest third-party clinical studies available. Now, we mostly use uh, organic, natural. That's about almost between 85 and 90 percent of our product. There is some synthetic in the B vitamins, and we'll talk about that in a moment. But we go, we go with what is available and what is the best. We, we purchase in the manufacturing stand standpoint only the raw materials, and we apply it to your personalized formula. Now, there's no animal products. The, now, here's the other part. How, would you agree that the, um, the environment is a very important issue on the minds of most people in this world? Absolutely. Okay. And you, do you know that one of the biggest challenges we have is not the air we breathe, but the carbon footprint that we've created based on everything we've created, that we've put on this land? And what our company has done, which is so exciting, is that we do not deliver these products in plastic, non uh, non-reusable bottles. We deliver them in a pouch. So instead of these millions of bottles, you would think of how many millions of bottles go to the landfills <laughs> yeah. all over the world. You know, here, this is the irony. <laughs> this is ironic. People are trying to be healthy, but when they discard their bottles, they can't, be, they can't be processed and reused, so they end up, and they're not biodegradable. Right. So I, they end up in our streams, they end up in rivers, they, it's just amazing. So here's our company. We put it in a pouch that is vacuum sealed, no preservatives in the product, generally a shelf life of about 60 days, and the bag is biodegradable. And by the way, within 72 hours of its, being, of its manufacturing, it is delivered to you. Oh, that's Think amazing. Think about this. This, this is what makes it amazing. And we're not doing this for one or two people right now. We're doing this for tens of thousands of people. And when they said to me, and I was one of the first four people the company looked at, I was actually the first fitness and nutrition professional to walk in the door, to look at this, I said, now how are you going to mass customize? And how are you going to mass produce this? Because you're going to have to deliver it fresh. And they said, that's what Cherry just said, Federal Express. <laughs> that's exactly what we do. It's made. And thousands of boxes go out, Federal Express, and it ends up at a person's door. And here's the best part. It is fresh. It is not put in plastic bottles on shelves in time frames, in time frames that could outgas in as much as six months or a year before they end up in a person's stomach. Could you imagine what that must be like, the variables that product can go through in manufacturing, heat and cold and so on and so forth? and now you can have it made and delivered to your door. That's what gets me up and gets me going each and every day. And this is why our company has been able to create an amazing product because of its bioavailability and because of its short time frames. That's pretty exciting. I'm sure you'd agree. That's huge. That's really huge. Yeah, it's impressive. Well, let's talk briefly about proven ingredients. This is a small list. We have right now currently we're utilizing roughly about 150 to 170 organic natural ingredients. Now, I highlighted on the screen a couple of ingredients in red, and I have the very first ingredient. Now, this is really important, AC11. Have you heard, Doctor, have you heard of cat's claw? Yes, I have. It's somewhere in, 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 in uh, Amazon forest or somewhere? In Brazil. Brazil, that's right, Brazil. Okay. And cat's claw has always been known to have properties that heal 
the DNA or repair DNA. But AC11 is a proprietary product, is a product that is patented, that actually it is, it is a derivative of cat's claw, but it's the next generation, and it is made to repair DNA. So you can imagine a DNA direction, a DNA-based company is going to have a product that is going to help repair DNA, and that's AC11. But let's look at the Asai and the uh, Goji and the Mangosteen. Now, these three juices, these three super fruits, have literally uh, accounted for almost $6 billion in sales. Would you believe that? Oh, three yeah. ingredients individually have, have accounted for $6 billion in sales over the last four years. And, uh, and we'll, um, each, each of these has, has a company that, is, that has built an entire industry around it, right? Absolutely. A site would be, an uh, example would be Mona V. Right. right. And right. Mangosteen would be a company by the name of Vima. And you can just go on and on and on. And pomegranate, I mean, a company by the name of Palm, P-O-M, or a product by the name of Palm, literally has thousands of billboards all over the country. I've traveled the nation over the last year, and I've literally seen a P-O-M billboard in almost every city in the nation. These products have such amazing powers. But here's something very interesting. These products have been placed into juice to deliver it in that manner. And what our scientists have found out, that if they can deliver it in a highly enzymatic powder form, it would be more bioavailable. So what if you had the power of every single one of these superfruits customized for your DNA predisposition and placed in ingredient format based on your disposition's need? That means that if your body needs the power of a side juice powder, and it needs only a certain amount of milligrams, say it needs only 25 milligrams based on your DNA predisposition, and it was applied that way, how powerful would that be? That would be huge. exactly yeah. what we do. You receive a 13-page manual that shows you exactly how it's placed for your specific genome. And here's the best. This is how they do it. They take your genetic test. They take your product, the product ingredient list. They put it through an algorithm that has 177,000 combinations, and they're able to create a personalized formula based on that. Example, I personally use 43 ingredients out of that 150 to 170 ingredient list. My wife uses 51. My son uses 60 ingredients. My daughter uses 57. My mother-in-law uses 68. This is what makes this so amazing that each and every person I know does not have the same ingredient list. Mm. And does not have the same milligrams. Do you think that's powerful? Do you think that's the proper application of science and nutrition? That's what's been making tens of thousands of people excited about having 100% personalization. But the main concern for most people is as follows. The average person that goes into a GNC or a vitamin shop is spending $117, $130, maybe even as much as $300 on superfruits and juices. But in a moment, I'm going to show you how, because of the power of knowledge, education, application of science, and personalization, you're actually able to bring the price down. But here's the part that's exciting about this. If tomorrow morning, doctor, I said to you, how would you like to change your ingredient list based on the latest and greatest science that came out today? But you would say to me, traditionally, when I finish the bottle of product I bought, or the bottle of product I still have in my cupboard, I'll try that new product. And then by the time you get to that new product, science has come out and has now found a better product. <laughs> you see, what happens is people are constantly chasing the newest and greatest ingredient. I'm sure you understand that whole philosophy of how people look at the application of nutrients to their body. Right, right. What if that could change? and be customized 100% based on science that changes in a month or two months or three months. In other words, constantly fluid, never static. So based on the, the, the one test they did probably nine months ago, um, the science will continue to, to, to uh, evolve on that one test, or that they need to do multiple tests? To that's, a, that's an excellent question. The science never changes. The test never changes. The science of the nutrition ingredients. You see, the DNA assessment, your DNA never changes. So you never have to take a second DNA assessment. What changes is your lifestyle. But don't worry about it. Our company has already worked on that address. <laughs> so um, and, and at the end of this presentation, I'm going to explain to you what we're doing for that. But your DNA predisposition never changes. What does change is the nutrient breakthroughs, the science behind the ingredients. 
So our model is so dynamic that we can place new ingredients into your personal formula because your DNA never changes. We're supposed to find the best ingredients to apply it to your DNA. And as the knowledge of, your, of the ingredients and the third-party science, uh, science, science and all the information comes in, we now know how to treat that disposition better and better and better as the months and years go on. So your product will always be fluid. It will never be static. You always have the best science at that moment. Now that's exciting. Oh. And not one time have I mentioned that this product does anything. We have a great statement that we make to you and to everyone on the call tonight. Our company guarantees that we will make the best, we, we will make not the best product in the world, but we will make the best product in the world for you. And that is very powerful when you think about it, because no one can tout that their product is the best product in the world. But our company can say, since our product is applied based on current science and current nutrients available to mankind, that we can apply it to that formula because it's 100% personalized. That's what makes this one of the most dynamic products to ever come to the history of nutrition and wellness. That's huge. But well, one question I'm going, to, I'm going to ask, I'm probably later on, but now sure. I'll just drop the seeds now, Michael, is, well, what about the other companies who are um, basically following the same path? Can they make the same claims too? Well, the answer to that question is we have absolutely no competition whatsoever in 100% personalization. So as we speak, as the call is on tonight, this evening, April 2nd, we have zero competition in the field. Now, we have hundreds of DNA assessment companies out there that are assessing DNA, but not being able to provide solution, which you're probably familiar with. They assess in areas of pharmagenomics, medical, medical testing, on and on and on. But on the nutrition side, most of our competition, as, as we can call competition, either work on the metabolic side, okay, there are companies out there that work on the metabolic side, or the, there's companies that work on the DNA side, but they generally test anywhere from three to nine genes. And then what they do is they, pa they, they point each part of your genome to a bottle of supplementation. So if I'm making sense, they do not mix the ingredients into one capsule and then create dosage levels of four capsules or five capsules or 10 capsules a day. That's logical. They actually just place your DNA assessment against specific bottles, which they create for those specific genetic panels. But they're not customizing them based on the ingredient, uh, based on the milligrams. So if you were to look at almost all of our competitors, actually, literally every one of our competitors, they make a 100% personalized to that gene, 100% um, designed for that genetic uh, pool or that g genetic SNP, but it's, it's pretty much made on a curve. It's not made 100% personalized to your disposition with milligrams specifically for you. Does that make sense to you? Right. Okay. 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 So again, you're still walking out with two, three, four, five, six bottles of supplements. With us, one pouch, one customization, everything placed in your individual capsules with a whole month's supply of capsules. That's okay. <laughs> All right. that, that's, that, that, if that makes sense, the difference between pointing it to bottles. Got it. Got it. Okay. Wow. And that's, that's the difference between us and everyone else. And uh, I'm very, very proud to, to be able to say that. And as, that's why bringing me to the call tonight, was so, I was so happy because I can tell these amazing people that are on the call that there's a, there's a solution out there that's just made directly for them and no one else. Mm. And, that, and that's exciting, and that's what makes Building Strength Webinars a special place to be. I appreciate that, Michael. No, and I appreciate the time to be able to speak about this tonight, because with me, ladies and gentlemen, it's just about the passion behind this. This is just beyond exciting. But let's just take a moment, and let's talk about something that everyone is familiar with. Now, Doctor, you're familiar with ARC values. Oh, yeah. And uh, very, uh, very yeah. important to talk about this. Right, right. In your knowledge in ORAC values, um, how do you, what do you believe about the, the, the statements about the importance of the ORAC value of a product in, well, in, well, in the nutraceutical world? Well, uh, it's, there's been a big buzz about antioxidants and free radicals, and, and they, they say the greater your ORAC value, the more your, uh, the ability of that nutrient or product to, to, to deal with free radicals. So it's huge. I mean, that's the whole anti-aging thing is all about ORAC values and free radicals and how your protection against them. Well, absolutely, and, and it's very, very important for you to understand this because, the, first of all, as you know, the USDA actually has a minimum recommendation of three to 5,000 you know, oxygen radical absorption or the capacity of these ORAC units per day. It's very, very important to know that there is a recommended daily allowance. So if a person chooses a product, any product, if they don't have a minimum of 3,000, 
basically the USDA is saying, and by the way, the USDA has basis uh, explanation for these products. It's a basis. That means if you see that, you probably want to have double, <laughs> minimum. <laughs> and that would be, be my professional uh, with my many, many years of being around the nutrition industry, and I do have a minor in nutrition science, but my predominant major was physical education. That made a difference to an athlete or to a, to a mom or to any hardworking individual, the auric value. Now, these studies have shown that eating foods with high auric score will raise the antioxidant levels. So you do get it from foods, but unless you're eating a highly organic, natural diet where you're getting your product literally right off the farm onto your plate, into your body, you're probably not getting the best antioxidant levels. I'm sure you'd agree about that as well. Agree, yes. Now, the auric figures uh, suggested by experts is around 5,000 units per day. So there, every expert, and I'm going to be the first one to say it, minimum 5,000. Now, that means you need to eat 8 to 10 servings of brightly colored fruits and vegetables and dark greens, okay, to have this. Well, our life map system, okay, now this is the average number, contains between 5,200 and 9,000 aurex. Now, there's an amazing product out there. It's been around for probably 20 years called Juice Plus. Uh -huh. And just so you know, I have so much respect for that company and its product. We have as much as 2,000 more Aurax than that product. And that product has millions of users. And we have, we're so proud because each and every one of us in our genome pretty much tells us the levels that we have to have minimally. But we do follow the USDA recommendations of making sure that we have the highest amount of oxygen radical absorption as our minimum requirement. But again, most of our, our, our clients and customers are coming in probably closer to seven to 9,000, just so you understand statistically. So this is by far the most powerful OREC available in the marketplace today. Very, very important, very, very proud of this. Now, what I'd like to do now is talk about cost. This is so, so very important because obviously in this day and age, people want to make sure that their investments are wise. And I'm sure everyone on the call would agree about that, that having the best value for our dollar is important. The LifeMap Nutrition System is the equivalent to going to Starbucks. Have you ever been to four bucks? I mean, Starbucks? <laughs> yes. <laughs> I never walked out without investing a minimum of four dollars. So ultimately what happens to have custom coffee, have you ever been to a Jamba Juice or a Smoothie King yes. and wanted to customize, and you know as well as I do that the level of inflammation in a high sugar product is probably not good for our bodies. But because there's so many natural ingredients, and I'm not knocking these companies, I think they all have their value, but the reality is people are spending so much money, and here's the part that scares me the most. There is more money today being spent on energy drinks than there are on, on people buying nutritional supplements for the first time. That means energy drinks are surpassing first-time nutritional supplement users. And that is very scary. Because in America, it? Yeah, it's, it's, it's an amazing statistic that just really shows me the state in which our country is in, and speaking of the United States, is that people are, are going for the quick fix and the energy and not seeing the importance of the basis. So our company's mission is to change that approach by offering this product at $3 a day. Now, if you were to take all of these ingredients and you were to buy individual supplements, you can literally spend approaching $1,000, depending on your formula. And it is actually known in the personalization world, on the metabolic side, athletes and doctors have actually built prescription product supplements for athletes and Olympians that have literally expanded above $1,000 a month, $2,000 a month, assessments at, in the past that were $1,000. The GeneWise assessment is only $99. Would you believe it? A 12-panel DNA assessment is only $99. Oh. And the LifeMap Nutrition assessment, uh, the LifeMap Nutrition solution is the same $99 each month, or roughly $3 a day. So a one-time assessment of $99 identifies your 12 key genes. And then a $99 a month product solution, 100% personalized. But think about this. You don't have to go to a store. You don't have to figure it out. You don't have to go through a sales presentation. You don't have to buy expensive juices. And here's the challenge. These juices, which are great, could literally cost you over $300 a month to have a few super juices. And that part is amazing. And these are facts. I mean, these are figures that are very factual. Tonight, we're not selling people. We're telling people what's available. And that's what's great about the Building Strength webinar. We're able to deliver something that shows people that there's, there's a chance for all of us to have the best product and the best science and personalization for, the, for, for less than what we would spend on guessing. And that, to me, and by the way, because everyone is on the call tonight, I'm sure it's educational guessing. Because we actually have the great information available to us 
But even with that, we still don't have 100% personalization, and, and that's what really does make this very, very exciting. But let's, let's just sort of draw to a conclusion, because I'd love to be able to answer some questions tonight, is we are building the support and the foundation for utilizing this breakthrough science of DNA and the assessment to really apply it to your genomics through the science of nutrigenomics. So this is the next generation. This is truly the night that everyone on the call has heard that the paradigm is shifting. And very rarely, and I'm sure you can, you can share this with everyone out there, very rarely in our lives as professionals, we have the opportunity to literally see a whole industry make a shift. That there will be a day, and, and, and this is coming from Michael Carnivali. I speak only for myself. But as a professional, someone who is seeing through the eyes of thousands of people personally, I personally have affected the lives in eight months of over 4,000 people throughout the United States. Wow. Just me personally. By these phone calls and by going and speaking in person. And I literally have affected the lives of hundreds of athletes and literally over 100 current professional athletes and also close to 300 medical professionals that are making the change. It is growing in leaps and bounds because what's happening in this conclusion is that people do not want to guess anymore. People are physically tired of taking the wrong products. They just want to know they're getting the right nutrients and the right amount to fit their body's biochemistry. And if you look at all of the Building Strength webinars, the one thing that comes to my mind as I've gone through your webinars is the biochemical approach to wellness. <laughs> And as you talked about the doctor and the application of drugs, and the, everything has to pass through your biochemistry. Am I right? Right, right. And that's what makes it so exciting, a nutritional directive of biochemistry. And on the next slide, let me just give you a glimpse to what's happening in the future. DNA-guided skin care. I couldn't talk about it tonight because I'm going to hope that beyond, you know, that you invite me back very soon because in August of this year, we're going to be the first company with five years worth of clinicals to give you the first step into 100% personalized derma genetic approach to skin care. We now have identified the three wrinkle genes that affect the skin of the human body. Oh, wow. Really? That's our, that, that, and I, I'm begging to have another webinar <laughs> to present that. That is going to be amazing. And some of the new science that's coming back. And by the way, in 2005, we swabbed the, the Oscars. So the people that have been on our product for approximately four years have been some of Hollywood's elite, but they weren't able to tell anyone. They just had to look great. Can't wait to see, hear those testimonies. And the lifestyle boost. Remember a moment ago I said to you that soon we're coming out with, with a boost for your lifestyle? based on the way you currently lead your life, like if you need an energy boost, what if we found a product that has a DNA direction to energy, that we can actually increase your energy levels with no ramp up and no crash may, with a personalized product? And what if we can help your children? Mm. And, and that's important. But there is one more breakthrough that I have to tell you tonight that is our company is literally trademarked and we're patenting it. Did you know that CoQ10 which is the number one antioxidant that is so important for so many functions in, in, in a sense, in, in the cell, from a cellular level, in every way, sort of the, I like to call it the force field of the human cell. We literally have a boost and a test that identifies, in this assessment, we can identify what type of CoQ10 your body needs. Did you know that based on your DNA, your body can only do use one of, or two one of two CoQ10s. How many types are there? Two. And forty percent of the American nutraceutical population that are taking nutraceuticals or nutritionals are currently taking the wrong CoQ10, meaning that it is not bioavailable. And here's the worst part: it's the most expensive antioxidant, individually speaking, than any other antioxidant from a cost standpoint and it is not bioavailable. And our company in May is introducing the first lifestyle boost that adds that so that your body gets the best support system, a CoQ10 boost. So this is the excitement. This is what I'm excited about. There's some amazing science coming. I want to be the first one to say that you know our company, myself, is 100% available, available for building strength webinars. 
and here to answer all the questions and provide everyone here on the call with the best science and the best information as soon as it comes off the press. So now I'm ready for some questions. Boy, <laughs> this has been amazing. Really, really amazing. Well, first of all, Michael, I just want to thank you. This is, um, <laughs> we can't say enough, and uh, as you can guess, lots of questions have come, have been coming in. But I want to just quickly say this. Uh, on our website, we, we kind of like m mentioned that, well, it's out there, there's, it's an absolute jungle. <laughs> People are just <laughs> to go in helter-skelter and not having any idea. And that's, like like we said, that's one of the reasons why we, we put this these webinars together, to make some sense out of the, the mess out there. And I think that's what one of the things that you and your company are doing so expertly well. Thank you well, again. Thank you. Um, you mentioned something about children. I'm going to ask a few questions on my on my own, and then I'll hand it over to Sherry, and then we'll just back and forth. But uh, what you towards towards your close, you were talking about children, and uh, I think that's just so key because uh, what we see nowadays with ki um, um, even with the, among young couples, you see an increase, especially with in their offspring, an increase in birth deformities, whether of the of the bones or the cardiovascular system or the respiratory system. I mean, a lot of this has come from the damage to their bodies, to their DNAs, which were obviously they, they just did not know how to protect their cells or protect their DNAs, and they were doing what everybody else does and eating what everybody else eat, 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 eats, not knowing that uh, chemicals are in these foods that uh, damage for the damage DNAs. So that is huge, especially uh, for people who want to have kids. It's so huge for them to have uh, uh, their cells well nourished in the right way. So. Thank you. Thank you Absolutely. For and we, our company has provided a scientific approach now. We brought in a pediatric geneticist who over the last year has been studying the breakthroughs because this is what makes the DNA Guided Kids program the most exciting of all our programs. We know as a company that if we were to gain a DNA assessment for a five-year-old child and we were able to determine their genetic predisposition for wellness, at five years of age, and we saw a weakness there, and we were able to treat that from five years of age. Could right. you imagine what they would be like at 21, right. 31, 41? And here's the part that is amazing. When I first started in my nutrition journey, I speak for myself, I was an aspiring athlete. It happened to me during the 80s. Ladies and gentlemen, I tried every nutritional supplement the world has offered. But here was the problem. It all had to process through my biochemistry, my gut, my, my liver, my kidneys. You see, the challenge to the human body is how, how little stress that we can place on the organs of our body will determine in a lot of ways how well our body will be as we age. Mm -hmm. this, is not, this is what we call common sense, doctor. Right. And right. yet, because of the fact that we, unfortunately, our generations have been a series of trial and errors, we now know, without beyond a shadow of a doubt, that if we can treat our children with wellness, with the best conceivable science, the bright future for this next generation from a wellness standpoint literally will change and turn the tide of, of all of the concerns we're seeing and as we make our environment better and everything else, we will literally see a generation of children and more and more generations that literally will be healthier, but we can do it a natural way. And that's what our company's goal is, and that's what I'm very excited about, and that's right around the corner. Okay, Michael, let me ask you a couple questions. Um, how is the protein expression different than the sugar expression? In reference to the DNA approach? I, I'm assuming that's what it means, the question. Okay, I, I just want to make sure that that's the question, you know, in reference to a carbohydrate expression or a protein oh. if you're talking about sugar or are we talking about its application in proteome? Oh, it says, how is the protein expression different than the sugar expression? That is, do they distinguish sugar versus protein expression? I, 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 I think if, I think we can, uh, they, they can if you would, just uh, further ex explain what you mean, and we'll go on to the next question. Yeah, I'd like to be able to answer that properly, but there was a few. There's a couple of uh, areas that are maybe a little, a little. Uh, again, we're we're talking about proteome is on the cellular level, of course. Okay, and and again, we're identifying through this 
genome or the disposition, we're identifying the, you know, the collection of proteins found in this particular cell type. Okay? So really it's more, more about the environmental conditions and the exposure of, of hormone stimulation. So you can stimulate hormones with sugar and then it will affect the changes in the protein based on genetic predisposition. So there is an, there is an association there. Okay, all right. So, I mean, that would probably be the best way I can answer it, but here's the best part. Any questions that I, for some reason, again, cannot answer, I can gain that answer through my scientific body, and we can send it right back to everyone. So anything I can't answer, I'll, I'll field the questions, and I'll get them answered right away. Right. Okay. Um, you had mentioned CLIA certification. Um, what is that, and why is that important? Well, this, the, certifi the, the, the lab certification is very, very important. I, I even mentioned a moment ago about FDA reviewed. And I'd rather spend a little more time so much on the CLIA certification. Uh, unfortunately and unfortunately, certifications could actually be uh, debunked, <laughs> so to speak, and saying, well, you can pay for a certification. But I always like to refer to FDA reviewed. I want everyone on the call to realize that not one of, not, no nutritional products are FDA, I'm going to say this again, the FDA does not certify any nutraceutical product. Am I correct, doctor? Right, yes. FDA is not involved. The FDA is a police agency. So when you think of FDA, think of FBI. And I say this with all sincerity. The FDA has come into our lab and said, if you open your door to our, your lab to us, and we can look over this lab, and we can review all of your practices and all your applications, you can now utilize FDA reviewed in all of your information. And we're very, very proud of that. And I'll explain why our company is proud of that. We come from, CLIA certified lab is more of a medical certified lab. We come from that world. You see, our scientists are medical professionals. We actually create uh, assessment based on both sides of the helix. So our laboratory uh, basis is based on medical protocols to the higher standards. We are, we are applying it for educational purposes and nutritional application, which is not in any way certified by the FDA. So we have p placed ourselves under a lot of scrutiny to bring our product out. Because what is going to happen in the next, well, could be less than a decade, but in the next decade, more and more products will be reviewed aggressively because as everyone is seeing that there's a lot of warnings going on out there on food and, and, and all these unfortunate incidents that are happening with outbreaks like salmonella and many, many, many different things that are happening. So the FDA is getting more and more involved and our company is ahead of that curve. We welcome the FDA. And that is probably the part that I didn't spend the most time on, but I hope that answers your question. And a CLIA certification is just sort of a medical certification for our lab, giving it the highest conceivable standard in, in the arena of assessments. And then there's various other ar areas uh, that our lab um, uh, works in that we haven't posted. But we can get that information. Uh, when you go to GeneLinkBio, GeneLinkBio.com, in there you can go through and it'll talk about our science and our labs and get into more particulars, okay? Okay. Um, I'll ask one more and then David can ask some. Um, in addition to the pouches, the LifeMap pouches, do people also need a basic multivitamin, omega-3s, anything else? Okay. Uh, two parts to that. Um, upon becoming part of a DNA assessment and a 100% guided personalized product, the thought of utilizing a multivitamin, in, you know, in our opinion and in how our company delivers information, is that you stop doing multivitamins and you focus only on your 100% predisposition. Because a moment ago I talked about ORAC value. That number, that quality number, that high number, is by far more than you'd get from almost any multivitamin when it comes to the bioavailability, the antioxidant levels, and the repair levels. That being said, step back from multivitamins, focus on this. This, this replaces a multivitamin. Now let's speak of omega-3s. In this type of product delivery, you can't deliver an omega omega three. Okay, it has a, it obviously cannot be delivered in that in that format because this is not in a gel cap. So omega threes can be added. Now, to expand on that, you can add as many additional products that you would like to support. There are people that add specific products in areas such as you know eye health and 
joint health, some people like they have glucosamine and other things. Now, my personal testimony, this is, not a te this is not a statement from the company. This is not a statement describing the product. Let me give you my testimony. I am a person that was investing up to $700 a month on every conceivable product you can imagine that I believe, based on my professional opinion and my experience, was the best formula for me in system from a multivitamin to application of so many different additional products. I chose to stop that and focus only on DNA-guided well care through my 100% personalization. And I personally, me personally, have had an effect that just beyond, beyond the fact that I saved $10,000 a year roughly in products, it literally, that was an amazing effect, but it literally changed my body because this product has co covered every aspect. And the part that really was amazing for me personally, again, this is a personal response. This is for me, Michael Carnivali. So no two people would experience the same results, and I have to be professional to say that. I stopped taking my $150 a month in omega-3s, and I got some of the best product in the world from Chile. <laughs> and I know a lot about IFOS, the International Fish Oil Standardization Association, which, by the way, if you ever choose a fish oil, you must go to IFOS, International Fish Oil Certification uh, Standardization, and you get to find out the best batches of fish oil in the world and make sure your product is in part of that batch. A little insight that most people don't know. Dr. Barry Sears taught me that. And I stopped taking all these products, and I have never experienced a better, a better healthy uh, period in my life, and I am 43 years of age. But here's the part that's so exciting. Um, again, besides saving a lot of money, I literally, literally was over-supplementing. And what we're seeing in, in the world of supplementation is more is better than less. Unfortunately, in my case, that was not true. And in a lot of cases that I've actually experienced, because I have the pleasure of speaking to hundreds of people, and by the way, just for the record, I would like to send as many testimonials as you would please, doctor, because the testimonials and the science that's actually going on now, the company is doing a lot of independent studies to really identify the results of this product, and that's going to be ongoing over the next two to three years. But the reason why we didn't have to do that when we brought this out, and this is very, very important for everyone to understand, is that we do not make any product claims. Have you noticed that? We're not, the product itself has no claim because it's 100% personalized for each person, so the response we're getting is individualized. And we're not touting this as a breakthrough product. We're touting this as a personalized product, and each person will experience something different, and that's exactly what's happening. But me personally, I recommend you can use your fish oil. Uh, the company recommends this. The doctors recommend this as well. Uh, and you can add some additional product, but from a multivitamin standpoint, you would obviously subtract that and add this. Got it. So, so basically, from your perspective, uh, this this is a standalone product. It kind of like supplies most most needs. However, yes. But then again, you have to remember that you you are uh, you've been fit all your life. So, some people might need may need some other other things than than what you might need. Right. And everyone has a current lifestyle scenario. They may not be exercising. They may they may be dealing with multiple health issues. And uh, obviously, you always consult with a medical professional, first and foremost. And if you're under care of a medical professional, this is also very exciting. Open this up to your medical professional, and let me explain why. Do you know that the number one concern that medical professionals have for people when they tell them to go out and find a product that maybe works for them is that they are going to go out there and try a bunch of products? There could be an interaction in the medication that they're using. There could be a negative interaction based on their current health state. So you can actually get a 100% customized assessment, then a 100% customized product with a product list with all of the ingredients. You can bring it into your medical professional or your wellness, well care professional, and they can review it because it is 100% customized. And here's the part that's most exciting. If for some reason it didn't meet their their standard or they felt that that wasn't proper, we have a 90-day money-back guarantee. I'm going to say this again, doctor. 90 days. There is no company in God's green earth, and I stress it's green, <laughs> that has a 90-day money-back guarantee because we are that confident that a 100% personalized product based on how your body utilizes it, so we will literally give back the whole 90 days worth of product up to $300 based on if you weren't happy after 90 days or if any way form that the product list or the products didn't agree with you or your doctor felt that, that wasn't necessary. And that's how, how, um, how motivated we are about our product. 
Great. Um, folks, just want to remind you that if you have questions after the webinar and if you want to, to do these testings, we have Sherry has put in the, um, Adnan Michael's information, her phone number, and uh, the website to go to. But we want to make a point here to say that if you were invited by someone else who is already with Gene Links or affiliated with Gene Links, uh, you want to go back to the person who invited you to this call, okay? Uh, very, yeah, very I made sure to put that on the screen for you, Doctor. Okay, great. Thank you very much. <laughs> very, very important that you do that. Uh, we, we don't want to be seen as trying to uh, take one person from the other. So uh, here's a good question. Um, boy, I, I almost lost it. Hang on. Check, check, good, good enough question. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> <laughs> okay, I found it. Is there any problem sending the sample through customs, e.g., from Australia to the U.S.? Another that the answer to that question is, um, it has to go uh, go by the law of each each country's customs. Uh, there are some countries the answer to that question is 100% yes, and there are some countries the answer to that question is you know 100% yes, it is a problem, and in some countries it is not. Unfortunately, I do not know the answer. Um, so you would actually have to check with customs. The best part about the product is it actually has a product list. It actually has an ingredient list, and if that's how they were reviewing it, and they would open it up, uh, it would actually be fully, you know, fully explained and vetted out in front of them. So there wouldn't be any problem with that. But unfortunately, I don't know the laws from each country, and I can only speak of the U.S. and Canada. And obviously, there's no problem there. But uh, Please, please check with customs and uh, go from there. Uh, I can, I can say our company will only vouch for the U.S. and Canada. Okay, I have a question as, as a doctor now. Um, uh, obviously, you, you, you've been very careful to stay away from that, from that issue, but let, let's see how we can answer this uh, as tactfully as possible. Let's say, let, let, let's say a, pa a patient who has already done a, 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 a test and is already having nutrition um, tailored to her, his or her genetic profile. And then it becomes sick with a certain, a certain condition. And that condition, we know, takes out a lot of the nutrients that, uh, that are in the body, um, let's say vitamin B12. That, is, that condition is significantly associated with uh, B12 depletion. Um, in such circumstances, can, does a person need to like, take larger amounts of the, the dose that he has been given? Or, I mean, how, how is that handled? Well. When you're looking at predisposition, and you, you, you can't see the reason why our product cannot uh, handle current medical conditions is that predisposition is what you were born with and it never changes. And current state is more of a lifestyle issue or a current medical condition. So we really have no association with treating that. Now that being said, a medical prof professional, and you can agree with this, is that you can look at the list of products and you can look at the milligrams you can then apply accordingly. So if for some reason, and again, I, I have to be very, very careful with this, and I want to make it clear to everyone, uh, I am personally not a medical professional, and this is not for any one person on this call. So please, no one makes any diagnosis, and if it just happens to mirror their condition, please realize that this is for example purposes only. Okay, so I wanted to make sure I wanted to be clear about that, because my doctors have been very clear with me about how they want me to present this. But that being said, a, a medical professional can look at this, and by the way, this is a real example. And they can look at the amount of milligrams that the product uh, that's been delivered is, you know, is identified with, and then they can add more or subtract based on their own personal choice if they're under the care of the doctor. The other thing that was very really interesting is that um, people have allergies or other concerns. We currently cannot subtract from the product, currently. But they are working on that, by the way. <laughs> it, is a, it is a future. And by the way, could I also say something that's coming that's not here? We're actually going to have a separate medical model separate medical that, model? Yes, that'll be delivered uh, by the end of the year. Mm. We'll actually have its own separate application in the medical arena to actually help people work on and care for illness. Mm. And the reason why that's coming out is because the doc these are doctors and scientists that are from the medical world, and they're in the pharma genomic world, so they're going to come up with 100% personalization, and they're going to add uh, additional things which they'll be able to add and subtract for the doctors. So there will be a medical model in the future for people that have illness. So that's, that's exciting. That's very, very exciting. But that's not my division, and uh, it's not something that's coming out today, but we're going to morph this product because, as you can see, this, the basis of the science is applied on either side of the equation. Right. Now, on the, on the website or in any of the documentation that comes, 
do you guys relate which um, SNP relates to eye health or neurological health or sugar? We're having a bunch of questions come in of which SNPs related to sugar, which ones related to eye, and I'm just wondering if there's anywhere where all of that is put together. Absolutely. Uh, I believe you may have your own uh, web, uh, web um, a portal uh, that will lead to, to to a. Well, let me give you a little surprise tonight. I have a little gift for the uh, for the audience tonight. Um, how would everyone like to have their own breakdown? A 38 page 38 page ebook on your genetic compass, free to be able to download and oh. understand all of the science I talked about tonight and a breakdown of each and every SNP and its application and which leads actually to a book, leads you actually to a book that just got uh, delivered to the public uh, at Amazon online and a few other areas. So, so that's what's going to happen and I'm going to show you how they can get that through your web portal. Oh wow, you're going to give this to everyone for free? Every single person on the call tonight through your web portal will be able to download that for free. That is my gift to everyone for hanging in there. Oh, and wow. the few that may have left. So that way, because that's a good question, but why not get everything? Why not get the whole history of this? Right. Why not get the information that I've been able to drive this, you know, to the public, and you'll have the exact information, the science, the doctors, and, and when we have the skin care, I'll even be able to get you more information on that. There's actually going to be a little tidbit about what's going on with the skin care as well, so it's a pretty exciting ebook. Well, well, we really appreciate that, Michael. Thank you so much. Oh, no problem whatsoever. All right, Sherry, another question? Um, sure. Do you have any success stories related to children, or is, is that a thing that's coming? I personally have three children, and I, I'm a personal success story. No, I'm only kidding. <laughs> uh, I, I, I just answered that question very, uh, very basically. Uh, the answer to that question is the kids program is coming. It is not here. There is currently no kids program. It will be out beginning of next year more than likely. Don't quote me on a date because it's all based on the scientific studies, so we do not have. But let that being said, my son, who's an aspiring Division I football player, who's genetically not matched to anything in my family, I'm 5'11", 220, he's 6'3", 225, and he's only 16. Genetics are amazing. <laughs> wow. And he has been on the product since he turned 16. So 16 years old, and his football team just happened to be on the product. Guess what? They won the state championship. So pretty kudos for the product. <laughs> Kidding yeah. aside, it, just, it was just luck. But the reality is... 16 years old is the begin point. So the answer to that question is yes, under 18 you can be on the product, uh, and we're just recently compiling some testimonials from young people, so we don't have that yet, but 16 is our begin point today. Sometime next year we'll be starting a lot earlier. I can't quote you the time or the date or the age, gra uh, the age basis. Okay. A question that would be important to women, what about um, hormonal balance? Does the product support hormonal balance? Well, yeah, that, that, that has a lot to do with uh, DNA predisposition. What this product does is it identifies disposition. Now, that being said, there are certain areas in your disposition. I believe I gave an example about the SNPs, and I had mentioned early on, I'll use this as an example, the vitamin D receptor. I took a few moments to explain that. But in the vitamin D receptor, the SNPs in that gene, okay, influence, and this is very young adult growth. So this would be, you know, 14, uh, you know, 17, 18, 19 and older, right in that range the parathyroid hormone production. So there's about three SNPs here that work on hormone uh, from the production uh, to also the function. And in that area, they work on the normal cell division and, and in a sense, the application to blood sugar regulation. So the answer to that question is yes, but understand hormone function has a lot to do with predisposition. And then there's obviously lifestyle influence. Okay. So it's a balance of both, arguably. And, you know, and depending on the gene, each person, some person will have more than others because, you know, some people's genes just work great in that area. And it just so happens that that's the only area in my dis disposition that I need help with. But yet, so me meaning that when I was younger, I had a problem with sugar. And matter of fact, which was really interesting, and again, this is not a medical, but I'm speaking only of myself. I couldn't take, I couldn't, I was allergic to anything with, any, with, with sugar in it. Up, ready for this? From the time I was about 10 years old to the time I was about 16 years old, if I tasted, if I had anything with too much sugar in, I would break out, get sick, and I would literally get hyper from it. And it just so happens that that was the one area that I was in red. <laughs> Amazing. Wow. So who knew, right? I'm, I, it is now 2009. I'm 43. Now, what if in two years? or a year, we have a program that can identify where they are with children, your predisposition must have some function, and the science is finding that out. So yes, it does have some hormonal factors, and each person is different. Okay. 
I'll go ahead, Sherry. Okay. Will the company add new ingredients to your own personal formula as they're discovered to be beneficial? And how would they know how much of that to use for you if your DNA is destroyed after it's been tested? Okay. The whole basis of our product is to morph the product based on the new scientific, third-party scientific discoveries. So as the science expands and the breakthroughs come about, the products that will be available to our formulation department, being the, 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 private, the personal formulation in our manufacturing, will continually to change. Matter of fact, in less than a year, we've, uh, we've added about 11 products. Oh. And we've morphed about four or five of the products just in the last year. So my formula has evolved already. But here's the part that's really exciting is that um, when I said that we destroy your DNA, the physical DNA that is delivered in the swab is disintegrated because the joke is no one wants to take a chance that someone is going to clone them. It's a joke. I want everyone to laugh. And I can only hear Dr. and Sherry. I'm sure I can hear everyone chuckling right now that, you know, you know you're going to be the only one that's going to be cloned, but all joking aside, the reason why they destroyed that is because that's an individual's identification in a physical sense. Right. Now, so, so they do the testing, but even though they've destroyed the DNA, that report or the information you've gathered from it, that never changes. Right. That's in a database. Right. Okay. And, and by the way, you have that assessment, so it's in your hands, it's in, your, it's in a database. Matter of fact, everyone gets their own LifeMap Nutrition Office that is built into their, uh, for their DNA assessment electronically, so it will always be there. They can physically download it, and the, science, the, the, uh, the lab has it, and the company has it. So the results are in four separate databases, okay. but not the SNP. SNP is destroyed. Okay. I mean, not the SNP. The swab is destroyed. Okay. Right. Well, I mean, there are other questions that come in, but some of them don't really relate to, to, to what we're talking about, and so we're just going to have to, have to, to, to get off of that. Um, now, uh, Michael, you've just basically planted a few seeds here, and I think we all, it is only fitting that we, we will have to invite you again sometime soon. <laughs> I mean, that, that, that just makes sense. <laughs> so, well, I really, I really appreciate this, and, and I can talk about this for hours and hours because when you're passionate about something and you're excited and you're one of the first people to bring it out. And you know what's so exciting, Dr. and Sherry and everyone out there? For the first time in my life and in so many people's lives, I say something about wellness and nutrition and people say to me, wow, I've never heard that before. Mm. And mm. being in nutrition and wellness, even though we're great about getting the best information, most of the times people have heard some form of it or another. And now people are listening. And if people listen, what happens? They take, they take the next step and they make change. And we're seeing an inordinate amount of people excited about a change. And I think that's the, that's the greatest reason why I spend the most time doing this. And I work a half, hour, a, half a day every day, minimum of 12 hours, telling the world about this. So I want to thank you so much for your time tonight. Uh, well, thank you. And someone just typed, typed in, this is fantastic information. that just blows my mind. <laughs> <laughs> and it actually will even make your mind healthier. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, just so, I, so everyone knows, when they go to Gene Link Bio, G E N E L I N K B I O dot com, what you're going to find in there is you're going to find some of the studies that they've done on Alzheimer's. Oh wow! So the company is a true pharma genomic uh, company. They do study science. So this is not a product only company. This is a scientific DNA gate. So when you go through that website, and by the way, there's a publicly traded company too, so it's very, very exciting and you're going to see things in there that are going to blow your mind and the, the, the skin care and the breakthroughs in, in DNA assessments. So that's really where the excitement really is and that's where the knowledge is going to come from everyone on the call. So, so I'm real excited about their journey. But when can we expect this book you promised us? Well, actually, I believe you have a portal, I think, uh, from our, our uh, event tonight. Uh, I think you have, D is it DNA? Is you have your own um, uh, page? So, um, you mean the DNA webinar that Madeline put up? I believe, and if I'm not mistaken, I'm going to check with Madeline. As they go in there, they have a, uh, a button in there, and I'll double check. If that's the case, you can point everyone to that. A matter of fact, you know what, if they go to that page, will be able to, I believe they can just put their information in there, and I'll make sure that everyone is able to get that ebook. So everyone go to the DNA page that you have available, the dnawebinars.com. Uh-huh, uh -huh. And, and there where, where they place their information, and then I will make sure everyone gets the ebook. Okay.
Okay, great. So, folks, you need there's a step you need to take. Okay, you need to go to that website. And and Madeline Madeline just typed in something, and she says if you have any questions specifically for Michael, that she can get them over to him. No, we will not give you Michael's phone number over the internet. <laughs> <laughs> okay. There's only one. There's all, there's only there's only there's, there has to be some sacred rules, right? <laughs> that's, that's right. That's right. Well, Michael, thank you again so very very much, and I'm sure we will be working together in the future. Well, thank you, everyone, and, uh, and, and thanks, for, thanks for all your time, and uh, welcome to the DNA era, and have a wonderful evening. Thank you. You too. Bye. Good night, everyone, and uh, we'll see you in a couple of weeks. Good night. Good night.